Welcome back Digi fans. It's Kimberly and I'm here to show you a couple of new tricks that um, I found tonight. Uh, first I want to say you definitely want to update your software for MDS and by doing that you can go up to the mds.net site, go to resources and you'll see the latest update. That latest update is awesome. It's got four new features that you definitely want on your uh, program and one of the uh, cool things also is that the pricings have changed. So uh, for your printing products, it's going to be a little bit cheaper, and that's exciting. So today I want to show you just a couple tricks. Um, one is the uh, how to rip the paper, and one was a discovery, uh, clearly uh, by mistake. And uh, so let's get started. So this is the page that I did of Sweet Little Brandon. And we're going to go to a duplicate page that I just kind of put some element, elements up. And the big chevron here where I'm pointing at was made using the freeform tool. And I'll show you that uh, in another video. But let's get to the ripping portion because that's really awesome. So what I did to get this piece here is I went to my DSP and I clicked add as a page layer and I just brought over the DSP like this. Okay, I went ahead and made it a little bit bigger, thinned it out a little bit, and then I right clicked. And when you right click down at the bottom here, you'll see Rip Photo Edges. When you click on that, it'll bring you up to this box, and there's four areas where you can check. And when you check it, you can see the rip. Now, you can go ahead and click OK. And a uh, discovery for me last night was when I was looking at this, I just knew that there was a different way to make this stand out a little bit more. And I couldn't figure it out for quite some time. Well, if you right click on this again and go back to Rip Photo Edges, you see this sliding bar. It says Rip Width. And if you increase that, you'll notice there's much more definition to that rip. And just hit OK. Now, I'll tell you something. When you're doing Rip DSP, depending on the color of the D DSP, is going to be uh, how much definition you're going to get. So, for instance, if we come back up here to Browse and go to Cardstock and hit Open, and we do the same thing with a piece of cardstock. For instance, let's just take Artichoke over to the side here. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And right click and hit Rip Photo Edges. Watch how this is more defined. Isn't that cool? So it's really vibrant, uh, or not so much vibrant, but much more definition in the, the card stock. And depending on your DSP, if it has a lot of color, you're going to see that too. So, all right, so let's delete that. And I want to show you a really fun discovery. Completely, uh, I, I just found it. Um, when you click on the DSP, down here, you'll see photo effect. And if you click sharpen, you're going to notice that it actually makes that DSP even more distressed looking. Well, you know me, I love the distressed look. I want to show you something. I'm going to come over here to the Be Awesome again. And I'm going to just bring this piece over. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so you can see even more. All right, when you come down here, do photo effect, click sharpen. Look at how cool that is and how much more distressed it is. It's already a distressed paper, um, but by just clicking that sharpen feature, which normally we would use sharpen in photos, you know, you want to make it a little bit crisper, um, it's making it crisp and it's making it distressed. So I hope these tricks uh, help you out and uh, I'll see you soon.